guys, welcome back to another episode of Hippie Dippie Reviews, another anime. So, I just finished up an anime, and if you ever want badminton to learn about more about badminton, this is the anime for you. Well, first off, the plot is that her a badminton player plays Batman for her mom, and then her mom leaves her when she was a kid, and then she comes back like a Later in the episode, but that's beside. I'm getting too high of myself. Secondly, um, she goes into a Batman place, but she doesn't want to do it right off the gate. She doesn't want to play Batman. She doesn't want to join the Batman team. Then she decides to do it because her friend forced her. Because now she's her friend's her manager. After that, she plays Batman. Like nothing, and then then go to a trip to joint camp because that's what most Japanese animes are like when it comes to sports. They join a camp of another another school. They meet this lady who is her technically her sister, but not a biological sister. After that, she just goes Higurashi mode. Her fucking eyes like go into psychopath. It's fucking creepy. It really fucking, like, this, like, what the fuck am I watching? Higurashi? Because she didn't kill anyone because it's a sports anime. But I was, I was afraid that she was going to hit someone with a fucking racket and beat her to death. <laughs> it was actually kind of fucking funny, actually. <laughs> it's really fucked up. I don't know why, but she never did that. They just started playing, and then eventually she turns into another, um, uh, she winds up being more happy at the end, which is a good thing. Oh, she still is fucking crazy. Um, the music is all right. Um, there's one piece that I actually liked that was suspenseful, and it was actually kind of like, what the fuck is this thing? And other than that, though, the, the music's forgettable. The soundtrack's forgettable. Theme song, also good, but, you know, that's beside the point. Characters. Characters are, like, good and bad. There are like some characters that don't even get, there's two Pacific characters that don't get a lot of screen time, and it's the two dudes. They're mostly focused on the girls, Batman team instead of the boys, because the boys only has two members in that, which makes no goddamn sense. But they do, they do have an episode of them, so that's a good sign. As for, um, uh, um, thing, thing, thing. um, I think that's it. Um, badminton makes you learn a lot about badminton and stuff. It's a good anime. I gave it a 9 out of 10 because of how it's structured. And it actually makes a pretty good story of a, a mom that's, her kid goes bad shit crazy at the middle of it. But then she goes at the end of it. So it's kind of like a good anime. But I like it given a 10 because there's I feel like there's something missing. I would have given it an 8 or 7 if it wasn't for the Higurashi eyes. Cause I love when animes do that. They like give Higurashi. Because Higurashi is like my favorite anime of all time. Even though it's not my favorite right now. I, I will always reference Higurashi. When I'm playing a fucking video game live streaming it or something like that. That's why... I like horror anime, but Higurashi is like the best horror anime ever. Because it's what a horror anime should do. They should build up the co characters up from the beginning. And then kill them off. And then just repeat. Uh, but that's beside the point. Higurashi is beside the point. This is a uh, bat. I can't read the title because it's really weird. And I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, I'm almost up to 198. Of animes I've watched. Um, I'm, I'm counting movies as a different category now. So. Yeah. Um, I hope everyone has a nice positive day. If you want to watch a short anime. This anime only has 13 episodes. You can watch it. Like for like one day. And you should be more knowledge about Batman. So stay positive guys. And take care.